the channel guys today is July 29th yes about a month from now we'll be looking at the corn itchy to start so it's crazy Less than, or around a month it'll be a little over a month usually we'll start at the beginning of September um, we don't really start in August it seems like it's get it gets later and later but yeah so a month from now we'll be chopping corn Right now I'm driving down to a neighboring farm. Uh, they do custom work. They're the guys that uh, Michael Holdman are with. And they also cart or silage. Uh, they also do tires. We brought down our 8430 yesterday to get all new back tires. And we're bringing down the 6210, our mixing tractor, down there today to get new rear tires we got front ones on a couple months ago but we didn't have any rears so but now we're getting the rears on and going down to pick them up all right so we got more uh i don't even know if i recorded any of it but we got more tank brakes we only had enough to do the two left wheels here um i'm helping my dad out here i'm also learning so a learning process. I know how to do it, it's just that there's this one part that I keep choking up on, and that's to get the brakes in but in the cal yeah. It's it's difficult, you'll see. But anyway, we will be moving some animals here soon, so I might as well just start here until we move. Gotta make sure the tires off the ground far enough that I can get the pallet jack underneath it. Hopefully that's far enough. It's after lunch here, and uh, those pads, the other pads on the other side, they did not need to be worked on. I didn't get to show anything else because I kind of had a mess up with the GoPro. But uh, now I'm just going to go around again. Uh, I have two fully charged batteries. I'm just going to switch batteries one per side and make sure all these lug nuts are really tight. Uh, to lose a tank tire while going 30 miles an hour down the road would really suck. My dad is over here greasing the hubs. So I pull the hub covers off and then we have a needle in the grease gun that I can stick between the, the rollers and the bearing and push grease into the center of the hub. These don't have zerks on, but it's good to keep, try to keep them pushed full grease. Um, there's different ways you can do it. This is fairly simple. Some people would say to take all the grease out and repack them, but I don't feel that's necessary. Um, I might be wrong, but this is the way we do it. Yeah. <clears throat> so it's yeah i've already put grease zerks on here some hubs have like a grease zerk here that goes into the center but yeah these don't yeah i think i've been there er, all the times we've had tanks i've replaced well that is liquefied so that means the grease probably broke down a little bit in this one from heat but yeah like Sometimes I have a hard time finding a spot where it wants to go in, like now, that everybody's watching. There we go. Now it's already pushing grease out, but I, I'm gonna let it do this for a little bit because that stuff's kind of liquidy. There's a good bit of grease. Nice grease burrito. My 
my dad also got these lights all set up and I also have to get used to if I'm going to show you guys something I'm going to make sure I'm still in front of the camera because of the mic picks me up easier I notice if I turn my camera like this and talk it gets quieter so yeah on the name of better audio so plus if it's really windy yeah really windy that's why as I long got as it. I'm not talking it's not windy yeah but now we're going to go pick up the uh, R6210 down at uh, Allen's it was just the rear tires right yeah yeah, so we need to get that back for mixing. Uh, that's our mixer tractor, and cat will be feeding. My uncle will be feeding cows here in about an hour or so. I have that one at 32. Okay. You might as well make the other one at 32. Put the mixer on one. Well, you can look at it then, and it looks a little squishy. Get rid of it. Yeah, I have a lot. Some stuff to do, and I don't really have time to be holding the camera. To be honest, okay. Here's till tomorrow morning. Hi guys, yeah, it's the next day. Um, I know a lot of you guys want to see milk and cows and stuff, but you know, like I said, everyone has their own job. Here lately, I've been milking cows, sick tree cows. From for the last couple weeks every morning here um usually that alternates between uh between me and my cousin weekly uh but a lot of people been going on vacation here so when one person gets back another person leaves you can't even see me right now but uh anyway i'll be leaving for vacation here today and by the time i get back i would by the time this video is out i'll be back from vacation but um yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Weekends are a little different. Uh, after milking, we'll, I mean, I don't know if I record, but we have to feed the maternity calves. The person that does that doesn't do it on the weekends, but in the mornings, me and Mitch milk, and then me and him feed. Weekends, it's usually me and my dad that feed. There's the trading group. Now you guys can watch me try to sort out heifer and a bull from the rest of the cows. Maybe you'll hear me mumble to myself the whole time because it's annoying. 
especially when the heifer and the bull think they need to get milked. I'll get the rest of the cows in when I have the milkers on. It's a lot more efficient. Just gotta push these cows in. As long as they know if they go in by themselves, that'd be nice. Come on, ladies, move. Hey, hey, hey. Give her a little butt poke. Come on. Move. We wouldn't need necessarily another parlor, but the reason why we have a separate group for these cows is because they have mastitis and we're, we're treating them. We're treating them with antibiotics, and you can't have antibiotics in milk because some people are allergic to antibiotics. <sighs> Dang people. I'm definitely not allergic to anything. But anyway, this milk is still useful. We we'll pasteurize it. This is the only milk we will pasteurize and feed it to our calves. Took the full wheeling. Just gotta make sure I talk into the mic. My dad already took the full wheeling cart. He's down by the bulls. I'm gonna walk down a while. I think that's all she's gonna write for this video. What the heck is going on? I'm still recording, just something popped up. Oh, here comes my dad now. But see you guys in the next one. Bye for now and God bless.